नमस्कार Agnani Swall is here to convey the single and the most important truth in the world. Critical analysis of Veda season 1 episode 1 we have seen the overview of Hinduism. Now in this episode 2 part 1 let us now learn the origin of Vedas. Before we continue kindly do subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon and do like and share our videos. All right let's quickly look into the topic. Now, how and where the Vedas were originated are the most debatable topic among the Hindus. The opinions are divergent. Some believe that the Vedas are million year old while the other consider them to be not more than 5000 year old. When Gnani's world read through the many articles written on this subject by Hindus themselves, Gnani's world found that almost all of them assumed the Vedas to be eternal. Hence the question of origin of Vedas is still a big question mark. Those Hindus who addressed this question trivialized it knowing well the amount of contradictory opinions within the Hindu text. Nanis world will attempt to bring together whatever information get from authoritative Hindu texts regarding this issue. Here we go. First let us see what Chandogya Upanishad says The Vedas were produced from deities Agni, Vayu and Surya. Chandogya Upanishad Adhyay 4 Kanda 17 Mantras 1 and 2 says Prajapati brooded over the worlds and from them thus brooded over he squeezed out of essence Agni from the earth, Vayu from the sky, Aditya from the heaven. He brooded over these three deities and from them thus brooded on. He squeezed out of essences the Rig verses from Agni, the Yajus verses from Vayu, the Saman verses from Aditya. The same view is expressed in Shatapatha Brahmana 11.5.8.1 and 2. This reference clearly mentioned that Agni, Vayu and Aditya are not the same of any rishis but are demigods. Dear viewers, here is an important thing to be noted that there are only 3 Vedas mentioned here. There is no mention of Atharva Ved. However, Gopata Brahmana 149, which is a specific Brahmana of Atharva Veda, mentions its deity to be the moon. Secondly, let us see what Shatpath Brahmana and Brihat Aranyaka Upanishad says. Shatpath Brahmana and 14:5, 4 to 10, and Brihat Aranyaka Upanishad 2, 4, 10 says. The Vedas are the breaths of the great being. As clouds of smoke proceed by themselves out of lighted fire. kindled with the damp fluid thus verily has been breathed forth from this great being what we have as rigveda yajurveda samaveda atharvan girasas itihasa purana vidya the upanishads shlokas sutras anuvakyanas vakyanas from him alone all these were breathed forth Hindu apologist has used this verse from Shatapad Brahman to prove that Vedas have emanated from God. Hindu apologist says Shatapad Brahman 14:5-4:10 states that Ishwar who is present even beyond the Akash which is sky created the Vedas. The way breath goes out of the body and comes in During inception of creation Ishwar created the Vedas and illuminated the world and in the face of dissolution pralaya Vedas no more remain in the world However 
just a sapling remains inside the seed, Veda still remains in the knowledge of Ishwar unchanged. The understanding that Hindu apologists attempt to be on this section is unwarranted. If the Hindu apologists use this verse as a proof of Vedic origin, then the Hindu apologists cannot hide the fact that even the Puranas, Itihas, etc. are on the same level as the Vedas. The Hindu apologist simply gives the references and their own meaning without quoting the exact verse as the fear that their own ideology might be undermined. Anyway, let us move on with other opinions about the origin of Vedas. Thirdly, let us see what Atharva Veda Mandala 10 7 Mantras 20 has to say. The Vedas were scraped off from Skamba being his hair and his mouth. Declare who's that Skamba, from whom they cut off the Rig verses, from whom they scraped off the Yajush, of whom the Saman verses of the hair and the verses of Atharva and Angiras the mouth. Fourthly, as per Shweta Shwatara Upanishad, Shweta Shwatara Upanishad 618 God is the light of his own thoughts, he who first created Brahma and delivered the Vedas to him. Seeking for freedom, I go for refuge to that God who is the light of his own thoughts, he who first creates Brahma and delivers the Vedas to him. Let us see what Mundaka Upanishad 1, 1, 1 and 2 has to say. Brahma was the first of Devas, the maker of the universe, the preserver of the world. He told the knowledge of Brahma and the foundation of all knowledge to his eldest son Atharva. Whatever Brahma told Atharvan, that knowledge of Brahma Atharvan told to Angir. He told it to Satyavaha Bharatwaja and Bharatwaja told it in succession to Angiras. The Hindu apologists make yet another error in this issue. The Hindu apologists claim that Brahma learned the four Vedas from Rishis. However, according to these references from Shweta Shwatara and Mundaka Upanishads, Brahma was directly taught by God and he in turn taught it to another Rishis. An interesting point to be noted here is that in the same Kanda verse 5, Angiras called the four Vedas as lower knowledge and say that God cannot be known through the Vedas. From the above given passages, it is clear that there is no clear understanding of the origin of Vedas. The texts mutually contradicts to each other. Numerous other Hindu texts have more variant views about the origins of Vedas. According to Titeria Brahman 2.39.1, Vedas are the hair of Prajapati's beard. According to Bhagavad Puran, Vedas issued from the four mouths of Brahma. Vishnu Puran says Vedas were produced from Gayatri. Vishnu Puran also says that the Vedas are Vishnu. According to Mahabharata, Shantipar, Saraswati was the mother of the Vedas. This bewildering multiplicity of answers to a simple question is a mystery. The writers who have come forward to furnish these answers are all Brahmins. They belong to the same Vedic school of thought. They alone are guardians of the ancient religious law. Why should such a coherent body of scholars have given such an incoherent and chaotic answers to the very simple question? Dear viewers, think for a while. Everything is in black and white. You decide what to choose. From all this, the only legitimate conclusion from Gnani's world is that there is no justification for the view that Vedas are Sanatana, which means that they are eternally pre-existing. So viewers, stay tuned for the episode 2, part 2 of season 1 to know the authorship and inspiration of Vedas. Hope you liked the video. 
kindly do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more updates.